with X-Band, the new game modem and video game network that blasts players into a whole new dimension of gaming. Created by Catapult Entertainment and distributed by THQ, X-Band is the only networked gaming product designed to support existing and future multiplayer games for both the Sega and Nintendo 16-bit game platforms. With X-Band, players are able to connect, communicate, and compete across their telephone lines. And play in real time with real opponents for real competition. Now you're playing for real. So it was the summer of 1995, I think, when I walked into a Blockbuster video and I bought this. I was irrationally excited about buying this for some reason. I don't really know why. It's not like the idea of playing Street Fighter 2 over a 56k modem is all that exciting. I never even got the subscription service for it anyway. And bear in mind, the Sony PlayStation and the Sega Saturn were both out at this time. So this was sort of like being the guy who upgrades his VHS to a Laserdisc player right at the time the DVD is coming out. It seemed to me at the time that this thing just came out of nowhere, but apparently there was some advertising. I just either never saw it or wasn't paying attention. Only 14 games were playable over the Sega Genesis version, and of that, 8 were sports titles and 6 were fighting games, half of which were Mortal Kombat games. Whereas the Super Nintendo had 15 games, including first party titles like Mario Kart and Kirby's Avalanche. The game Weapon Lord was the only title created specifically with the X-Band in mind and is available for both versions. There was also an X-Band QWERTY keyboard available exclusively through mail order from Catapult. Okay, let's try to stay on target here. The X-Band itself has a passive switch, so you can play any game through it, which means if you're the type who likes to stack things, like this, the game will still play. Let's boot this mother up. It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! Well, one thing that's kind of cool is, if you had call waiting turned on, your X-Band would automatically pause the game and alert you when you had a phone call. Repay your subscription for five months and get the sixth month free! Hey, <laughs> you can't afford not to! Now you might ask, why is the A upside down? Well, it's edgy, don't you know? You see, we were just about to enter what I like to call the Age of Extreme. Extreme dinosaurs? Can somebody tell me what kind of a world we're living in where dinosaurs aren't extreme enough? <sighs> this town needs an enema! I actually really like the music from X-Band's menu screen. It's got that 90s techno vibe. It should be noted that the Super Nintendo's X-Band actually has vastly different music than this. You could select a screen name and choose from a selection of pre-made avatars. You could also set up a taunt for potential challengers. There are actually a few hidden games you can access. One of them is this bizarre version of Pong with bass. A quick look at the manual shows that these are the names of the programmers. Yeah, that was fun for all of two minutes. Let's, uh, let's see what else. And the other is this maze game. It's sort of like Pac-Man, minus Pac-Man, and the ghosts, and the fun. And that's pretty much it. Without connecting to a server, this is the most fun you can have with an X-Band these days. I can't really recommend it as a collectible unless you're just a completionist. There were a good many bizarre add-ons and peripherals during the waning years of the 16-bit era. I kind of understand it though, 
We all knew it was ending when the 32 and 64-bit systems came along, but it was easy just to sort of pretend that that wasn't happening. We all just wanted to squeeze a little bit more fun out of those old systems before it was time to move on. And now, I leave you with this. Isolated. Detached. No one should have to play video games by themselves. Hey, Tiny. I got something for you. Fortunately, there's this new thing called the Xband Video Game Network. It's the world's first video game network for your Genesis or Super Nintendo, and it can automatically match you to thousands of the most cutthroat video gamers in the country. All you gotta do is stick an X-Band video game modem into your Genesis or Super Nintendo. Plug in a phone cord. And in seconds, you'll be on the network. Once you're on, you can pick your own character and write your own code name and taunt. X-Band works with your favorite multiplayer games like Mortal Kombat 2, NBA Live 95, NHL 95, and tons more. And there's new games being added all the time. X-Band has all kinds of stuff. There's X-Mail so you can receive and send messages to other players on the network or to people on the internet. And you can read our two online newspapers. There's Bandwidth, which is packed with gaming, music, sports, and entertainment info. And X-Band News, which keeps you up to date with what's happening on the network, like national player rankings and gaming news. There's even tournaments where you can win big money. To get automatically matched with an opponent, just select Challenge. And we'll find you someone to play against, no matter where they live. And after your game, you can even chat with your opponent in real time. Or if there's someone you want to get even with, you can select them from your player list and pick a fight with your all-time worst enemy. X-Band. You never know who you're going to get matched with. To get on the X-Band video game network, just pick up an X-Band modem wherever you buy video games. Then call 1-800-X4-X-Band and sign up. And it's cheap. You can play locally for just $4.95 a month for 50 connections. And unlimited local play is only $9.95 a month. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Here's a list of new games coming this fall. So pick up an X-Band modem at Blockbuster Video. It's just $19.99 for the modem. And we'll even throw in four free video game rentals. And if you call now, we'll even give you your first month on the network free.